All right, so, hello everyone. First up, <laughs> we're on our way down to Cool Bay, which is probably about 45 minutes to an hour, uh, kind of to the east of where we are now, uh, just past Gordon's Bay, for those of you who know where it is. But uh, we're on our way to go and see phytoplankton, which is about to glow in the dark. Um, I was actually surfing there the other day and I saw like just these red swaths all over the sea. And apparently that's plankton and apparently there's a chemical reaction that takes place that causes them to glow. And obviously it's easier to see that in the dark. So we're heading out now. It's about just gone five past six. So we're going to shoot to be there by around sunset and then obviously try and catch them in the, in the dark. In the act. In the act. So yeah, let's do this. Microorganisms that glow. Definitely gonna go check that out. Getting up towards Solari's Pass now, so we're gonna make the duck into Gordon's Bay and then around to Cool Bay and hopefully check out some of this plankton. That's what we've come to see. Just get around learner drivers. So in this whole bay, driving back the other day, this like as we we're coming through there were just these like streaks of all that red plankton all over the show. One guy tried to convince us it was kelp. So we just come past Gordon's Bay. We're on this, I don't know, Stunning, beautiful, incredible, breathtaking, add whatever extreme adjective you want. Because this drive is unreal. Got some impatient drivers who obviously aren't taking in the scenery. Good job. Sun's gone down, we just had the sun set, or well, it's about to set in probably the next five minutes or so. So I think we're gonna. Uh, We've got a couple of minutes of last light and then hopefully we should start seeing a few a few patches of glowing uh, plankton. If we're lucky, that's it. I guess that's what we came for. So here we go. Just loving the scenery to be honest. Check at that. Eh? It's, it's like Cape Fold sort of formation. It's really beautiful. It's all like angular and uh, sort of contorted and it looks like these mountains were made with like a great great deal of uh, drama, you know. Okay, we've stopped in over Cool Bay, which is just behind me over here. It's a little bit windy, a little bit chillos. But uh, we've got another half an hour until like the light really starts to fade away. Normally, photography and that, I'm not really wanting the light to disappear, but tonight I am. So yeah, this is going to be our viewpoint. Apparently Jill says that movement really agitates the luminescence, so we're either going to watch from up here or we're going to try and get down towards the shore where there's a bit more of a wave that kicks it all up. So. Yeah, beautiful evening otherwise. Very nice. As you can tell from the, the pitch black background behind me, the sun is completely um, behind the horizon. It's, it's fully dark now. Um, as yet, we haven't spotted any plankton. Um, none that's doing its bioluminescence thing anyway. So we're gonna move 
onwards towards Hermanus, maybe stopping at Betty's Bay, see if we can't get onto a beach somewhere nearby. And um, yeah, hopefully you have a bit uh, better luck that way. At the very worst, we'll probably just pull over somewhere, grab a nice hot cup of coffee from the flask and a rusk. And uh, yeah, I think I'll even count that as a successful night. So all is not lost. There's still, still hope. Let's do it. I wonder where this luminescent plankton is. It's Nothing's going on here. Maybe it's like a certain time or something like that. Like maybe we're too early. It only like starts doing its thing. Well, I think it has to be pitch black because then obviously it's easier to see. But you don't think it's dark enough now to see? Probably getting there. Yeah. It's also just nature though, I suppose. It comes and goes as it wants to. Damn it, nature. Get on the, get on the train here. Get on board. It is a creepy drive. <laughs> so, we have pulled into another parking spot just further down the road. Um, we actually have seen the um, bioluminescence. It, it came up for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Jill and I just scrambled to get like all our photographic kits in place and by the time we got set up and ready, um, obviously you need a, a very long exposure for something like that. But by the time we'd got uh, all sorted out, it kind of faded away. So it, w it looked amazing while it was there. And we did get kind of a photo, more like an evidence shot than anything uh, kind of worth showing. But yeah, it was actually quite incredible. It looked like a giant moonbeam on the, on the surface, but as if like the moon was shining from below so yeah that was really cool so we're just yeah hanging out here for a little while just to see if it happens again uh, and if it doesn't then I think we'll we'll have to settle with what we've got and go grab that coffee and rusk but it's been a fantastic evening out it's kind of cool to have a uh, an excuse to get out like this uh, at this hour I mean why on earth would you come out here in the middle of the night except to kind of see some sort of natural phenomenon so even though it's been brief it's been a good excuse to get out here and enjoy it all right last couple photos doing some long exposures over cape town just while we're waiting i reckon we give it another 20 minutes say eh? jill yeah time for some coffee. 20 minutes then it's coffee and rust time cool. yeah Alright, so we finally found it. This uh, bioluminescence we've been scouring this coastline for. We finally actually found it in little rock pools when we came down onto the beach. So all that like, I don't know, this ocean was looking really brown and kind of, uh, uh, yeah, it didn't have that nice blue color that it's had the last while. And that's obviously because of all this plankton that's moved in here. And then when you get onto the coast like I am now, into the rock pools, it becomes very obvious because all the water is just crashing onto the uh, the rocks and things like that. It just lights these things up, and it's it's unbelievable actually. It's kind of unfortunately it's going to be imperceptible to the the camera, but as soon as all the lights go out, and you just run your hands through the water or you throw a stone into the water. Just millions and millions of these little I don't know organisms just light up, and you just get these amazing trails. When you can watch fish swimming through the rock pools, they just kick up all this, basically like a fairy dust behind them. It looks like something out of a, a movie. It's absolutely fantastic. So I mean, I don't know if it's worth trying. Like, here I am by some water. I'm just gonna just pop the light off there. I mean, probably not even gonna see it, but yeah, you can just hear me swishing around there. And what you probably can't see is just like I say, pixie dust. It's like something that like Tinkerbell would use. It's, hey, it's it's amazing. It's <laughs> I 
All right, coffee Jill. Yes. Rusks. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I stood in a puddle just now. <laughs> my entire shoe up to my sock in a puddle. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a rusk. <laughs> <laughs> Success! <laughs> oh, don't trip! <laughs> so on the way home, we decided we just uh, we drove past the section where it was quite exposed to the coast, and we got like quite a nice view of the whole open coast. And we just saw basically line upon line upon line. It looked like little glow sticks just sitting in the sea. Just these luminous waves just coming through it was absolutely stunning so we pulled over again we we're supposed to be home if not on the way home but it seems like we're having a hard time leaving so yeah i mean it really is something else jill and i were chatting now trying to work out um what our most memorable experience has been on this trip so far i mean there really have been a lot but I'm going to sneak this one into my top 10. I think in terms of uh, uniqueness, beautiful, I mean, this is something I've never experienced before. It's absolutely beautiful. Even nice to be out here uh, in the middle of the night. I mean, listen to that ocean behind me. It's... Yeah, that's what it's about, eh?